So ever since um, Bandai Namco's lackluster uh, E3 presentation, and yes, I do understand the COVID thing and all that stuff, I'm not stupid, I get it that because of that constraint, they had nothing to show, but I didn't understand why, if they had nothing to show, they would even show up in the first place, but that's, that's besides the point. I noticed that we haven't had any um, anime games whatsoever. Now, yes, technically we did have anime games, but they've been so far in between in quality that some of them can't even be considered anime games. So let me, so let's go back. In 2020, we got Dragon Ball Kakarot, One Piece Pirate Warriors um, 3, I believe, or was it 4? I'm not too sure. There's so many of those sequels. Um, oh, it's, it's Pirate Warriors 4. We had Sword Art Online, um, uh, Astiliation, Licorice, something like that. We had My Heroes 1 Justice, we had One Punch A Heroes Nobody Knows, and Fairy Tail came out that year, and then we had Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, and also we had Seven Deadly Sins. We had, we had all these games, but what I've noticed about it is that um, even though I personally did not pick up Dragon Ball Kakarot because I wasn't interested in reliving the stories of Dragon Ball for some reason, it was the only high quality anime game to have come out in 2020. Every single anime game was mediocre. Um, no matter how much you want to argue for them, it's they were all mediocre. I mean, when <laughs> One Piece is one of the big trees, but then whenever the games drop out, nobody really talks about them or plays them or whatever. And it got me thinking because the year before that, in 2019, we had Tokyo Ghoul Recall of um, Exist, Call to Exist or something like that. Trash. We had Jump Force, even though people still play it. Overall, um, from an objective standpoint, the game wasn't that good. We had Killer Kill, the only game that was actually decent in quality, but people didn't play it because we didn't have that big roster that people would want from an anime game. We had One Piece World Seeker. This was One Piece's version of an open world, it wasn't well executed, so people forgot about it. We had Cold Vein, not based on the anime IP, but it was okay, it was good. But then after that, we didn't get too much anime games as well. And if we go back one more year, 2018, 2018 I believe, that's when we had the last good quality anime game to have dropped, which was Dragon Ball Fighters. After that we had Attack on Titan 2, Naruto to Power to Shinobi Strikers, yes it's still been updated but overall from a quality standpoint, it started out bad but it has improved over time now so I'm not gonna shit on um, should not be strikers. I will admit, when it came, first came out, the game was shit. I will not change that opinion. But after a while, with updates and life updates and all that shit, it improved. Another Sword Art Online game, don't care. Fist of the North Star, don't care. <laughs> Seven Deadly Sins, no one cared. Black Clover, Quad of Night. A good game, but just it wasn't advertised, it wasn't promoted. Bandai Namco just dropped it for it, for it just to die. It was a shame, but anyways. I noticed that we've just anime games, right, have the potential to release good quality versions, but we keep on accepting dark shit. <laughs> I'll say this, we always keep accepting dark shit. Like anime games is the only franchise, it's the only genre where we tolerate mediocrity. Like I swear to you bro, take away the IP for some of these anime games, people would not give two fucks about them. But people are too blinded by nostalgia to actually critically just critique these games, personally. None of the um, mobile games have taken a very strong position in Bandai Namco's interest and um, you know, focus. People have begun to realize that, you know what? The companies are starting to realize why release shitty ass <laughs> video games that you know the fan base have become aware of now. Why release those type of games when we can just make mobile games I convince people to pay lots of money for PNGs and GIFs. That's that's just that's, 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 that's what you're paying for. And now people are asking when are we gonna when are we gonna get high quality um, anime games? Uh, listen, it's it's like a double edged sword here. If you don't support a game, they're not gonna make a sequel. But if you support a you know, shitty sequel, you're gonna continue to get shitty sequels. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I've been thinking about this and it's like, I think, personally, that Bandai Namco either A, probably has a lineup of amazing games ready to release in 2021, or have probably ultimately given up <laughs> on producing high quality games and they're just gonna keep on producing mediocrity because they know the fan base is too much 
of a nostalgia baby, let's I'ma say it like that, that just can't get away from just looking at the game objectively and just being honest with themselves when they, and say this game is shit. When it is shit, obviously. And obviously, um, they realize that people, you know, when it comes to mobile games, people will shell loads of loads of money um, to buy, you know, units which are pretty much PNGs. Let's keep it a buck fifty. I don't give a fuck what you wanna say. If <laughs> you're paying for PNGs, GIFs, uh, in Dragon Ball Legends case, yeah, technically you're getting characters, I mean, but they all play almost identical with some special stats, but whatever. I don't mean to be very cynical here, but it's like, but we haven't had a single notable games, anime games, in some time now. The, the last one was Dragon Ball Fighters. That was the only game of high quality. After that, you could say it's Dragon Ball Kakarot. I will concede that even though I think the game is boring overall, it has some polish to some degree. Of you know, when I talk, when I say anime games, I'm talking about anime games of major IPs. Like I know there's other other anime games that have come out that are not based on major IPs, but they really did well. For example, Genshin Impact has been pretty good, um, I believe, and there's also been another game. I can't remember. I don't really care, but you, you know what I mean. We haven't. Now the question is, what do we actually want in terms of an anime game? Do we want to go back to the typical 100 roster um, type of games? Because when you look at Demon Slayer, for example, Demon Slayer looks like to be a very decently polished game, but the number one concern that a lot of people tend to have is that the roster seems to be small. We haven't seen a single demon <laughs> in quite some time. And also on top of that, um, the cover of the game doesn't show any demon except for Murata. Interesting, if you ask me. Would the game do well if it doesn't have all the roster that it needs to have? And is that even important? Let's say for example, I actually I don't know how many characters we have in Demon Slayer, let me see. I'm doing this on the fly, so I do apologize for that, but I also don't really care too much. <laughs> um, so let's just, let's just keep going. In, in game, in game. I think it had about 12 or 5 characters. Actually, yeah, I think it's almost 12 characters. If it is true, the game just ends up just being with 12 characters. I mean, it depends how, on the quality of those 12 characters. Because when you look at Guilty Gear Strive, it had 15 characters and people pretty much praised the game for being exceptional for a fine game. But when it comes to the anime community, they don't really care. <laughs> Except for Dragon Ball Fighters, usually they want a big roster of fighters that they can choose from and play and all that stuff. So I don't know, like, to be honest really, I actually have no idea what I want to see, like, I'm not really interested in another Storm, you know, Naruto Storm game anymore, it would be interesting to see a Naruto Fighters, I think that's what most people seem to be leaning towards, is that they want the same treatment that Dragon Ball has been getting, but for Naruto. And obviously with the new anime um, coming out like you know, Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer, Black Clover, those anime IPs need their own treatment as well. So we, we, we pretty much you know, ripe for some new games, but we haven't gotten them so far. 2022 or 2023, we might see some good anime games showing up. That's just my opinion. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm Pat. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.